I is a powerful verb. Those of us who once belonged to People's Temple and somehow survived thought, what we, thought we knew what testimony was all about. How many times did most of us here rise to our feet in order to glorify the accomplishments of a man to whom we gave away our power? Today, I want to testify to something quite different, to the selfless devotion of so many individuals, living and deceased, buried here and elsewhere, that created the vibrant interracial community called People's Temple, founded on a belief in equality. That was and remains the overwhelming miracle. Something unprecedented in U.S. history. That's what makes this hilltop slope looking down over East Oakland sacred space. In the examples of those who participated in this failed possibly doomed experiment in what we then called socialism, I choose to find a seed of hope. Thank you. I'm so blessed to be here and to see all of you, knowing that each one of you are beautiful flowers. We know that flowers grow and that they bloom with the anticipation of the light of the sun, looking to the heavens for their life. And each one of you that came together, looking for love, looking for life, wanting to be a part of the truth and we came together under this, co this common decision, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And that was my quest in life as I came together, even as a child at 15, my father, Archie Imes, which went to help develop the beginning of Jonestown, looking for truth, wanting love, and unity, as so many have already said. But I thank God today that I realize that truth is never ending. And as you search to know the truth, you go higher and higher. And today I recommend and encourage each one of you, as you seek to know the truth, to know that no man knows it all. And to know that also you cannot put your trust in man. That happens as, throughout history. Even people who put their trust in different leaders, as you know in the past. We know what happened in Germany. We know what happened in throughout history where they put their trust in man. And it will fail you. But you have to put your trust in God. So I encourage each one of you to look to the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Thank God for this beautiful memorial, and thank God for all of you here today. Good afternoon. My name is Tim Carter. My son, Malcolm. My sister, Terry. My wife, Gloria. My niece, Kaywana. Chayok, my nephew. Lou Jones, my brother-in-law, are some of the family that I lost in Jonestown. Malcolm was buried here. He was one of the babies. But our family chose to have Terry buried here because People's Temple was her family. Not only would she want to be buried with Chai Oak, she would want to be buried with her brothers and sisters that died in Jonestown. That's what these two roses are for. 
I am so glad that finally there is a place that has the respect that the people who perished in Jonestown deserve. My intentionality for this place is that it be a place of healing, a place of understanding, a place of compassion, and that the wounds that still exist in all of our hearts, in whatever way, both those that are here and those that are not here, that the energy be directed to them for healing for all. It's been 32 years, and I'm sure as those of us who survived know, for those who haven't survived, I'm sure you've felt, it still hurts. It still hurts. To me, the greatest tragedy of Jonestown is that most people have no idea how great a tragedy it was because they didn't know the people. Malcolm, I love you and miss you. Gloria, I love you and miss you. Terry, I love you and miss you. To all the people who perished there, I love you and miss you. And to all my brothers and sisters here, I love you. And I'm glad I don't have to say I miss you. Thank you. <laughs> Is there anyone else who felt a need to come up and say a few words? Please come. Hi, my name is Craig Rubens. I'm a general building contractor. And way back when, um, I was working on a project in San Francisco, working on the oldest house in San Francisco, in fact, the Abner Phelps, 1111 Oak Street. And uh, one of my bosses came to work and said, we've got a new guy for you. It's a small crew. Um, there were five of us, young. I was young then. And this guy was 55 years old. We were all white. He was black. Um, his name was Roosevelt W. Turner. His name's on, I presume, on that plaque. Um, and he was a great worker. I thought, wow, 55, that's old. <laughs> um, not too old. He was a very good carpenter. However, he wound up leaving us early because he was in the very first wave. Because he was a talented builder, he helped build the, the houses and the, the buildings in Jonestown. And of course, he never came back. That's all. by many names, sometimes performers too. Dorothy Jesse Beagle, but father of my beautiful son who died in Jonestown, Joseph Leo Hellier, we called him Joel. I'm not sure what he was called. <laughs> sometimes, once he, once he adopted Mrs. Uh, Mr. Beam, and he was Joel Beam, <laughs> but anyway. I want to read. I, I am a poet among other writings and composers. Uh, Guyana, the Enchanted Jungle is the title of this. And it was after seeing a famous sculptor's uh, Christ. De Stabler is the sculptor's name. Can you hear me fine? Can you hear me? Uh, the Stabler had this sculpture in a church, the uh, student, St. John's Church near Dwight Way in Berkeley. And I, I'm not religious. I went with a friend of mine who was very glad to sit there. It was, I think, two years after 1978. And I was certainly had one thought in my mind. I, uh, I looked.
This is called Guyana, the Enchanted Jungle. <clears throat> Part one. De Stabler, that is the name of the sculptor. De Stabler's Christ. I looked upon not not to pray, but in memory of my son Joel. I'm not seeing it right. Okay. I looked upon not to pray, but in memory of my son Joel, who with 900 friends and more died in a faraway land, Jonestown, Guyana, Jonestown, Massacre, Jonestown, the Promised Land. And looking on this maverick Christ, who wore no crown of thorns, whose flesh was yellow, I heard again the words that Ishmael, my friend, spoke on that November day. I had a vision. He was a great artist and a religious man. I had a vision. I saw your son Joel lifted gently upward by two, the two beautiful white doves. And part two, Destabilis Christ. Controversial like the master. Not, not accepted, the Catholic Church said. Too unique. A priest whispering in my ear as we left, amused, smiling. Did you know Quite. I just can't see the image. Okay, the, the leaving, this priest said to me, did you know? He said, smiling and amused. The artist created Jesus in a way that he was outlawed at first and not permitted in, in, in any church. Hmm. For he was created a sort of yellowish color and no 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 crown of thorns and shown at the point of ascension. Yeah.